Kevin, I know you, you guys try to be consistent, but can you explain what went into the decision to take out Blake? Was it something you saw? Was it a plan to limit him to two times through, or what was your what was your motive there? No, I mean the, the only motive was that um, the, the the lineup the lineup the Dodgers features as potent as any team in the league. Personally, I felt Blake had done his job and then some. Uh, Mookie coming around for the third time through, uh, I value that. Uh, I, I totally respect and understand the, the questions that come with it. Uh, Blake gave us every opportunity to win. He was outstanding. They're not easy decisions. Um, and th that's where I came to the decision. I felt it was best after the guy got on base. Uh, Barnes hit the single. Uh, didn't want Mookie, seeing, Mookie or Seeger seeing Blake uh, a third time. And was that the plan even if? He was just done through two times through, no matter what, or was there any other wiggle room there? No, there was no 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 set plan. We, as much as people think that sometimes, there, there's no set plan. Uh, this organization is tremendous about giving uh, the staff the trust to make the in-game decisions that we feel is going to make um, or give us the best chance to win. And I totally respect that. How what it unfolded today uh, was was pretty tough. Gotcha. And then I know Nick didn't get hit hard, but he's had a little bit of a rough run here. What gave you the confidence to go to him in that situation? Simply that uh, it has been a little bit of a challenging run for him. Uh, but over the last two years, I think there's an argument to be made that he's been the best reliever in baseball. Uh, and we're going to trust that he's going to go do his thing. One, three, Bio. Hey, Kevin, you yeah. kind of met you at the beginning. What's the message to the team? Who kind of spoke up there at the end? Yeah, um, Eric had a couple words. I had some words, and then KK spoke. And it was all fairly consistent. Uh, we're, we're proud of what was accomplished this year. Uh, did we get to where we wanted to? Not quite, but this team had high expectations. And you can't get any higher than celebrating on this field after winning four games out of seven, uh, we just we came a little bit short, but we were just so appreciative of the efforts of everybody involved, um, the day in, the day out uh, of the people that, that that have been so supportive, the staff, uh, and obviously goes without saying the players and the way um, they they prepare, they find ways to win, and the type of teammates they are. I just kind of find what do you what do you think has kind of gotten hit more than usual here in the postseason? Uh, well, I think first and foremost, you got to give credit to the lineups that they're fa that we've been facing. You're talking arguably arguably about the best three lineups in baseball, offenses in baseball between New York, Houston, and, and now L.A. Um, they 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 present many challenges, um, but I, I think ultimately that's what it comes down to. We have asked, I've asked a ton out of Nick and. You know, he, <laughs> he, 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 we marvel at how special he's been for us and will continue to be. Um, they, they had good at-bats. John Romano. Hey, Kevin. Understanding that Blake has not gone deep into games all season long and has had some struggles the third time through the order, Still, he was throwing tonight better than we've seen him, other than maybe the wild card game. How much does that make it a, a more difficult decision in your mind? I mean, do you do you weigh a single night how he looks versus what the procedure has been most of the season? Yeah, I think you. We owe it to ourselves to bring it all together and try to make the best decision. Uh, and similar to some other ones that we've made, I've made this postseason, they are gut wrenching. Uh, and it, you, you know, you feel for Blake. Uh, and the, the, everything that we try to do, it's try to put our team in the best position to win. And I, I feel that, that was the, that's the reason I made the decision. Uh, and totally understand and respect any opinion off of that. Blake uh, could not have been better tonight. I mean, the, the strikeouts, the pitch efficiency, the stuff, it was all really, really special. He put it all together for us in a big way. It was actually a very similar situation to game two, and you left him in to face Betts and Seeger, and he gave up a walk and a single. 
did that play into this decision at all? No, uh, it didn't. I mean, we, we had a we had a five uh, five run lead going in. It was you know a two run homer by Taylor, and then the next two guys get on base uh, where a homer could tie it. I mean, that's for I don't know who's to say what which is the right one. I know we had a one nothing lead, and the thought was what's the best way to secure a one nothing lead at that point, and I felt it was going to Nick Anderson. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.